Hello everyone, very good morning and good evening. Welcome to the Game of Five Flyers and we are back with the next episode. In this episode, we have Mr. Bhaskar with us, Bhaskar Pandey. He is the high flyer for this session today. So before I jump my gun to Bhaskar for have some interview questions with him, let me introduce a little bit about Bhaskar. So our journey started with Bhaskar in 2020, where basically he came and uh, we had a training so on simple logistics, then he did uh, sourcing and procurement, then he did production planning, he did multiple trainings. But his SAP career started long back. He's having a 12 plus years of SAP experience and three years of domain experience. So he uh, started his career as a production planning and then later on he shifted uh, it to uh, SAP after doing uh, working in manufacturing and operations. He learns multiple modules. He was already in 2012 itself. He has uh, got certified with SAP with the authorized training centers in uh, SAP. And then uh, later on uh, with his career path, when he was moving with SAP, doing multiple projects, he moved to Germany. And after moving to Germany, he needed to switch to another company. There he felt that, okay, the, a lot of requirements are there which require to upskill to SAP s where SAP s knowledge is required. That's where our association started with Bhaskar. And uh, he upskilled with Simple Logistics. That time we were having a Simple Logistics program where we upskill people in sales, uh, production planning, sourcing and procurement. And then he also did multiple other courses in sourcing and procurement and production planning also to upskill himself. And then after that, uh, he worked and switched his career profile in Germany. And uh, from last uh, uh, a few years, he is still in Germany. So we'll be discussing with him to get that what kind of opportunities are there in Germany, how people can look forward uh, the SAP job profiles in Europe side. That's what we would be talking about. So with that information, I would welcome Bhaskar. Bhaskar, welcome to the Game of Five Flyers. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Thank you. Thank you very much, Parminder. And thanks, Sastriki Solution, for inviting me over here. It's my pleasure to be here, you know, for this session and contributing my views and thoughts to the audience. Sure, sure, Bhaskar. So, Bhaskar, uh, let me ask you. So you was uh, already having an enriched SAP experience, right? You have worked on so many years in different, different modules. So when you look forward to upskill from ECC to S4 HANA, what kind of challenges you have seen and what kind of opportunities you have seen so that you went ahead and get yourself trained and upskilled to the uh, advanced function features of SAP S4 HANA. So what were the challenges? What were the hurdles? And how you consistently worked on and did multiple trainings to upskill yourself? Yeah, that's very good questions. You know, like, you know, when I was in my current organization, so there we are using EC 6.0. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe when you don't have a system or something, you know, um, to learn the new, uh, without having a system or knowledge, just uh, you cannot learn. So this was a really a challenge for me because like S4 HANA is in the market from 2015, right? Mm -hmm. So I was, I, me personally feel like I really wanted to learn new, new things. And, you know, I take new opportunities as a, uh, always uh, in my career's path. So I thought how to start and where to start. So I try, you know, use Google or YouTube, but that was not a, I would say, uh, good or a, a good initial step. As you know, you need some uh, ladder to learn. Because mm -hmm. if you go to YouTube or Google, you could misguide yourself with the thousands of knowledge information was mentioned over there. So I was looking for ladders and I would say, then I try to explore also a lot of Institute. And then I came across through your one video. I would, uh, so I really uh, got uh, interested towards that video. It was about PPDS explanation mm -hmm. by you only Parvinder. And I was really fascinated about the way you explain the concept over there. Mm -hmm. And then, then I had an interaction with uh, with the contact number provided over there, and I really uh, asked for the demo, and I really was happy to see the demo. And then I went with for this uh, training for the Sastravi. Okay, that's good. That's good. So when you upskill, and then when you get the knowledge on this new subjects, new function features, how did it help you? Maybe in the interviews, or maybe in the current project, how that information or that knowledge helped you? Yes, that's true. So uh, 
when I try to uh, make a new career in Germany itself, and I was looking for the opportunity for S4 HANA, where you know mm -hmm. where I can work on S4 HANA projects. Mm -hmm. So, but before that, I need to learn S4 HANA. And whenever I apply for the position of S4 HANA, so I believe I once I failed also, I would be honest over here. So mm -hmm. I tried for the interview, and they asked whether you have S4 and experience also. I said no, I don't have experience, but I will, I'm eager to learn it. I would eager to work on it, but that doesn't. Uh, I was not uh, being selected at that round. So then I decided, okay, first I need to learn it, at least for theory part, concept part, so that I can, you know, put some efforts in interview and then I can contribute in the projects also. And this is the reason I thought I learned from Biosastrogic Solution and really helped me with the concept, with the knowledge, what are the changes between EC 6.0 and S4 HANA, like at least in terms of my area, like production planning and plant maintenance and quality management, I try to, uh, you know, figure it out. Okay, what are the key changes which are in S4 HANA, and uh, what are the new good Afuri applications where you know I can uh, learn more and more. Mm -hmm. And it really helped me also while interviewing. Also, they asked me questions related to that uh, uh, functions or changes. What why we we need to have S4 HANA. So it was really helpful from that particular trainings. In interviews okay. yeah okay great 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 to see your progress Bhaskar, and great to see that you was able to implement the knowledge also so uh, yeah. at the uh, i came to know that at the early stage of your career you was working as a you know in the manufacturing and operations you got some chance in sap and then you uh, then you thought that okay you want to completely switch your gears and shift as a SAP consultant, which you did it, of course. Mm -hmm. And now, what do you think that if you want to advise someone, because that a lot of questions come to me that, okay, whether if I grow <laughs> my career in the production planning itself, if I work there for 10, 15 years, and then if I see myself that I would be switching into SAP and growing my career in SAP. So what would be that difference? Do you really feel that if you have gone into the production operation job, that would be better? Or do you think this job is better? And if somebody wants guidance from you, say, hmm. I, sh I should switch to SAP as a consultant or I should go ahead into the production operations. How would you guide to people? I would say, yes, I am enjoying current life compared to my manufacturing life because I remember the days I have spent the weekends, the Sundays in manufacturing, <laughs> you know, manufacturing. But I would say it is must require to have domain experience if you are, uh, having SAP, uh, if you try, if you would like to make career in SAP logistics area, basically, because you know when you directly jump from uh, as a fresh or a graduate, you cannot correlate, you cannot imagine the line, you know, the production line, the concept of bill of materials, routing. What does that mean? So having domain experience is value added to your SAP experience, I would say. So I would say life at manufacturing was really uh, very, very tough. I would say it's six days working as you know, in IT, we have five days working first question. So you could have a good quality life. Uh, second thing, the, the growth in terms of growth, I would say IT have much, much better. Yeah, means I cannot imagine in like in last 12 years, uh, I'm into IT and I'm what I have prepared my goals, a career goal. So I'm with it. And I don't believe I could have reached it with my manufacturing experience over there. And uh, above that, but uh, domain experience was really, really nice because whenever, you know, when we I do discussions with my customers, clients, so they are from manufacturing. It really helps me because I have seen all those processes in my domain experience. I can correlate, okay, what is bill of material? What is routing? Right. What are uh, storages? So it was also helpful for me as a domain experience. Right, right. Exactly. My career profile is exactly same. I did uh, three years of uh, working in uh, Robert Bosch as a production engineer yeah. into the different departments. So that experience and domain which we got it was very key. Now, uh, when you discuss with the client's customer, you, you can put yourself in their shoes because client does not tell you the sure. problem front, mm. right? They will be telling you some information and then you need to get there in shoes and then try to consult mm -hmm. them and to find actual pain points, you need to bring it out. So domain experience helped a lot. Exactly, but, that's true. But the quality of life and everything, yeah, so after having few years of domain experience, if someone jump into uh, SAP mm -hmm. consulting, you will even enjoy more. Because that's what I find that in domain experience, if you will continue sometime, the tag will be put it on you. Okay, this is automobile. This is yes. um, uh, pharma. 
But in mm. SAP, I really love that I need to see a different variety of industries I have worked on. I have seen uh, that part, their manufacturing operations. So that is really fascinating. That's true. Yeah. That's good. That's good. So, uh, uh, so one more question I would ask that you initially got trained on SAP. That was, I think, somewhere in 2012. And then you did the training with us. That's, that's somewhere around in 2020. So what do you see a difference between approach, the trainings which was delivered uh, earlier in 2010 and the trainings which we are delivering in the 2020, Sorry. comparing those training institutes and Sastra Geek? What do you see the from the quality, monetary value point of view? What kind of differences you see? <clears throat> Yeah, that's so. I did my uh, two, in 2013. I did my certification training of production planning from Atos, uh, Delhi. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I was not aware or that you know. Uh, at that time, I believe that it was mandatory to have uh, authorized training from a authorized authorized partner training to have a certification to you know to uh, have jump into SAP industry. Right. And then I just, uh, yeah. And at that time, to be very honest, there was some institute also, but I don't, don't um, uh, like, uh, I would say it was not helpful for me to build up my career to SAP. Mm -hmm. So then uh, in 2013, uh, I did this training for 25 days, but it was very, very exhausted training as a fresher because you don't know a word of what is SAP. <laughs> so, you know, you directly went there and sit for 25 days or his trainer comes over there and gives you a lot of theoretical knowledge. He, he just comes start from eight o'clock until six o'clock and he asks you to mug all those things and, you know, understand. Mm -hmm. But I did it, but it was a very, very stressful days, I would say. And, uh, and also very expensive training. Right. At the end, I would say I did not get any concept from that training to be very honest i just mug all those things what i did mm -hmm. over there because there was no hands-on mm -hmm. experience so much yeah only one process we did at the last within this 25 days so maybe i was not so mature i would say like you know i did in 2013 seven years back so when you are much fresher you are just you know you try to uh, see the things uh, where okay what is this new things but uh, if I could compare from today's world or today's uh, SAP exposure in the market or in the world, it's it's much different now, you know. Uh, so now certification is also you can go directly. So then, uh, you know, today's world, I don't I, I will not go for the authorized partners training. So I was looking for the training where I can build up my concepts. I know SAP mm -hmm. or a little bit basics and comparing to Sastra Geek, Solutions like I spent of two percent of the investment which I spent it in 2013. So it was around four lakh training in 2013, which I did from the authorized partner. The result was, I would say, I got a certification. That's true. I was, uh, you know, I can my career. I can start my career to SAP, but concept-wise or knowledge-wise or what I get from that 25 days was nothing. I just mug it. I would be honest over there. Yeah, I just read three books and I was really, really exhausted by reading all those books, reading, writing. I learned a lot in 25 days. But yeah. uh, comparing to Sastra Geek training for like, we have a very, very, and I would say uh, really, uh, I was appreciating this also. I would like to appreciate this. Like we have option of self-based training also and live training also. So due to time zone, I was not able to, uh, you know, participate in the interactive trainings uh, also. And what I really liked about the self-based concept also. Mm -hmm. So this is really helpful. The concepts could be explained or you can you can go through the video on offline. And if you have any questions, I can get back to the trainer also, which is really good concept. Right, right. So I, I also feel, you know, that I also did the same thing. Uh, some point of time, you are true that the earlier, I did it uh, somewhere around 2006. So earlier, uh, it was not that easy to book the certification. You need to go through the authorized centers only. I also spent somewhere around 3 lakh rupees mm -hmm. on the training. So that's where basically I was comparing that what we can deliver it, which would be lesser of the price and the 10 times more value. 
So first of the thing, I, I never liked that the concept of 25 days. I'm interacting with so many people one-to-one -one and I find that a lot of people see the good career opportunities and because they need to take 25 days of training, they leave their job. You know, a lot of places you will not get that uh, one month of leave to do this training. So when people leave their job, they mm -hmm. do it and then the training is not good and then they are not able to get the job. And a lot of people I have talked with them, they actually went into the depression because of that. So that's where basically we found it, uh, try to find a way where with mm. your existing job when you are doing, because existing job as an operation is also very important. That gives a lot of value to you. So parallel yeah. to that, maybe spending two hours per day, three hours per day, you can prepare on SAP and then you can straight away jump without taking any gap. You can do a straight away jump to uh, SAP career path. And, and, and very, very of sure. less cost and very core concepts has been explained in very detail. That's what we are targeting for. And now uh, booking SAP certification yeah. is also very easy with the certification hub access. You can straight away book and give yeah, us a uh, thanks to SAP for that. <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> right. Mm. So uh, Bhaskar, the last question would be, uh, uh, you are being into Europe, right? A lot of people are there who wants to switch their career profile. So we have a two kinds of people. One is that who has done the uh, graduation, post-graduation MS in Europe, and they are looking forward uh, into the career opportunities there. Okay, so what kind of career opportunities are there in Europe side for those candidates? And secondly is uh, the people who are there in India and from India or in Asia, they look forward to Europe for a better lifestyle, for better op job opportunities, how they can leverage SAP knowledge and skill set to shift it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. I would say uh, SAP opportunities are in huge number over here. And basically now as for HANA, you know, so clients or customers over here are making a thought process to upgrading their uh, versions from 6.0 to S4 HANA. So I, I'm really, really uh, seeing number of opportunities in terms of S4 HANA over here. So if you have good technical knowledge or if you have, you know, good concerning experience, or even if you are having one or two years experience, people can find a job over here easily. Mm -hmm. There are some, I would say, uh, tips or hints to, uh, you know, to make a more leverage to finding a job that if the person is having German skills, so he could uh, have a better, you know, or easy way to find a job over here. Out of, if you are, do, are having a lagging skills of German, then out of 10, maybe you are, could apply for two or three positions. Mm -hmm. So I would say learning German and having SAP experience will not stop your career in, in Germany. Oh, yeah, okay. Will... So you got the key point. Okay, not only the yeah. SAP, language also yeah. make a difference. Yeah, that's, that's, true. A good... that's true. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So the freshers who are looking for, you know, if you are, you are into the early stage of your doing a graduation and just passed out and working on SAP skill, and if you really want to work uh, on the Europe side, you want to shift their career, so also add yeah. some additional language. So uh, uh, sure. German is the one, and I think French also is used in uh, Europe side. Yes, other, French other and Spanish. Yeah, French and Spanish and German. Yeah, French, Spanish, French, German. Spanish and German. Yeah, three languages. If you if you are well aware and you could speak, and with SAP and technical knowledge, you are the champ in Germany. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah. one more thing I will add, because I'm interacting with a couple of companies, if you want to switch towards the outside the India, if any, any part of the world is fine with you, you can also add Japanese. In Japan, there's a huge amount of opportunities in SAP okay. they are looking for, but the language mm -hmm. is the you need to know Japanese. So you can definitely mm -hmm. make much, much bigger packages. So that's also a key thing. So adding okay. a language also is a very good thing, which people can do apart from SAP. That's that's mm. that's that's very good insight, Bhaskar. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, thank you, Bhaskar, for appearing in the uh, our session of uh, Game of High Flyers. We we really uh, value your time and the insight and the thoughts which you have shared. I hope that have that would be helping a lot of audience who are listening to us. So thanks one again uh, appearing it here. Okay, everyone. Thank you. We'll it's my pleasture, Parminder, and see you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be coming back with the next success story very soon. Stay tuned.